Arsenal Fan TV. It's transfer deadline day. I'm down here with DT. Um, and uh, the news has just broke, DT. That, well, we knew it already, but it's official now. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain has signed officially for Liverpool. I yeah. saw your, I saw some of your stuff on it yesterday, and I could tell that you, <laughs> uh, not for TV stuff, you weren't happy. I mean, mm. what do you make of it? That a guy that's turned down more money here at Arsenal to join, and I know he supported him as a kid, but to join a team on less money. Yeah. I mean, what is it saying about us? What's it say about Arsene Wenger? That's what I screams out. What's it say about him? Apparently, these players were going to sign new contracts the moment Arsene Wenger did. Now, we've got one player that's left for less money, not just a little bit, 50, 60 odd grand. Less. Why? Because he doesn't think that we can win things here, the big trophies and compete. You look at Liverpool the other day, they look good. Mm. They look good and they're not the finished article. But you look at them and you say, you know what, they're doing the right things. They're moving forward, aren't they? Exactly. Are we moving forward? No, mm. we're not. We're static. It's just pathetic. Transfer deadline day and the place is dead. I'm not expecting anything today. I'm expecting I was say, the worst. I remember, I, remember, um, I don't know if you remember, a few years back when we signed Ozil. And then that night down there, the place was buzzing. Yeah. Uh, here, no, no one can't even be bothered. There's people driving past saying to us, what are we bothering to be, be out here for? Yeah. I mean... What are you optimistic that we could bring anybody in? No, because we've got no money apparently. That's another thing. What we need to ask what's going on at this club? Seriously, Robbie, I've been screaming this for years and I've been getting criticized. I feel tired and drained already speaking about it because it's the same old, same old. We had about 150 odd million to spend before we even brought anyone and had anyone come in. Now, if you weigh all of that up, we're actually in profit. So we should have about 170, 80 odd million pound to spend. And we're turning around and saying, well, no, not really. We can't. Um, ain't really got no money. We know why. Because Stan Kroenke is using us as leverage for the loans to get what he's getting in America. We've been mugged off. And I want somebody, when this window shuts, to tell us exactly what's going on. If, if Arsene Wenger's been refused money and he can't go and get the players, then he should do the honourable thing, which is tell us and walk away from his position because they've made it untenable. If he doesn't believe what they're doing, you know, and they're mugging him off as well by not giving him money, come out and tell us and then walk away because you can't do your jobs to, you know, and it's, but if it isn't that and he's just plodding along with it, then he's just as culpable because he's allowing it to happen and he's letting them do it. And I've said it, it doesn't matter whether we've got a CEO, because Ivan Gazidis is a nobody at this club. He's got, me and you have got about as much power as Ivan Gazidis. Chips Keswick's the chairman. All they've got is titles. There's only two people within power at this club. Stan Kroenke, Arsene Wenger. They're the only two. Arsene, you could see last year, look at the power struggle between Gazidis and, and Arsene Wenger. And, you know, he wanted the... Uh, the director of football and the way that Arsene Wenger comes out and undermined him. What's the director of football? Someone that di directs people and fully undermining Gazidis. And then it all then went down to Kroenke. Kroenke looks at it and goes, right, who am I going to listen to? Oh, yeah, this guy makes me money. Shut up, everyone else. Get on with it. Finally, what could, uh, what could put, a sm you know, well, put a smile on your face, but what could, by the end of the night, you see happen that we could then say to you that actually it was a decent window Arsene Wenger resigning <laughs> not even joking yeah that would be I, that would be the only know, thing that would please you do you know what we've got a squad that's capable of pushing for top four um but a manager that can't get it out of them anymore 90% of that team don't want to play for him don't want to be here players are fighting with each other Aaron Ramsey's calling our captain crap do you know what I mean? We all know about the, the fights in the changing room at Liverpool and stuff. It's a mess. I think we need someone to come in that's going to give a bit of stabilisation to the team and to, you know, try and put a bit of fight back. I don't think Arsene Wenger can do that. So if you were to turn around to me tonight and say, you know, would you take Draxler, for example, for 35 million or whatever it is, or Arsene Wenger resign? Bye-bye, Arsene. See you later. And as the banner says, thanks for the memories.